hate this job. It's absolutely horrid. Oh, sorry about that. You were uh, taking a while to answer. All right, so I called you up to tell you about some things that you need to know, or rather, things I'm supposed to say to you. So uh, let's see. Ah, so you've been here before, which means you already have signed you know, about the waiver. Great. So as you may have noticed, things are a lot different from the last time you were here. New place, new equipment, new people, and new animatronics. Most of them aren't yet functional, their repairs are still in progress and whatnot. But that doesn't mean you don't have to watch over them. They were all thrown in the supply room, which I think is Cam E on your end. Only seems to be one working right now, the yellow one. Uh... Lala. Sorry, I'm not really into this whole Teletubby thing. I'm just here for the... Uh, uh never mind. Anyways, due to reports from previous employees, we've installed a shutter for the ventilation shaft behind you, in case things, specifically Lala, try to get into there. It only closes on your end, though, which I think doesn't really make sense, but it's probably just because of budget problems. By the way, the thing heats up like a bitch, and the poor best. Uh, I mean, the company is trying to save cash by limiting power usage during the night. That's all. You should already know what to do and what not to do, so, uh, see ya!
did a great job. Well, I guess there's probably some difficulty in sitting in one place all night and looking through some cameras while literally doing nothing else. Anyways, I called again because I'm supposed to update you on new developments that concern you. As the company is. One of the other animatronics is now active. The red one, which I think is called Poe. Most product we've had in forever. Also, the technicians found out an issue about the robots. Apparently they identify human faces as tubby toes due to sensor damage. They didn't pick up on before. So they try to pick up stray tubby toast and put it back in the toaster. It's pretty unsanitary, but saves those pennies. It's also really unhealthy if there's a human being crammed in that toaster. Anyways, that means you don't want them to get a hold of you. Another quirk is that they become more active as a night guard works through the week, as if they become more aware of them. They seem to reset as night guards leave though, which is really weird. Just something to keep in mind, am I forgetting something? Oh! Oh yeah, Poe! Although she's functional, she can't see due to a lack of eyes. It's been hell for the company to find placements. She's able to scan her surroundings with the other senses, like smell, sound. However, that means making sudden movements might make Poe scan your face as if it was a toast. So stay still in her presence. Flipping the monitor and using the vent shutter will also make her more aware, put to a lesser extent. The monitor itself also makes a bit of noise while it's on too, so when she appears, just don't move. Simple enough, right? Anyways, have fun with those two. Peace out.